Hello everyone out there, Tiffany Graham, day 16 of the video challenge. And tonight I am trying something different and I'm going to do this video in black and white. So I hope that everyone can see me out there okay and it's not too dark. So let's get right into it. Today we're going to talk briefly about the power of the three-way call. We are underutilizing the three-way call, guys. There are great uplines out there, your direct sponsors, cross lines, whoever who have great stories that could be shared with your prospects. The three-way call is your golden ticket to speeding up the process with your prospects. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips of what to do on your three-way call and run through a quick example of how the three-way call works from start to finish. So first things first. Make sure that you are on time for your three-way call. Actually, I would suggest calling your upline five minutes in advance of the call. Call them, make sure that everything is running smoothly. You've already spoken with your, pros your prospect. They're ready to go at the specified time. What you don't wanna do is waste any one time here and you don't wanna lose your credibility by being late. Because if that's the case, then your upline may be reluctant to doing a call with you in the future. Because we know everyone is so busy out here, guys. Okay? So, next thing, make sure that your upline is properly edified to your prospect. You want to show value in the person. Your prospect wants to know, man, I'm going to be speaking with this great person. They've done X, Y, Z. You need to give them the value and show them why this is an important person for them to speak with. Also, shut your mouth after you pass the microphone to your upline. Your prospect is looking for a third party validation that this business works. They've already spoken to you, they know you, but they need you to step out of the way and let the three-way call work its magic. They wanna hear from someone else. So let your upline take the show and let them run with it. They don't need you chiming in saying hey remind them about the promotion or whatever's going on they know what to say let them do the work so let's get into a quick example of how to do this three-way call from start to finish the first whip out those phones call your prospect first my prospect is going to be johnny right in this example i'm going to give johnny a call ring 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 hey johnny tiffany graham here all right, we're going to give Miss Smith a quick call. So hold on one second for me. All right, and also another note, whoever your person is that is doing your three-way call, make sure you address them by Mr. or Mrs. Miss whomever. You wanna show authority in the person that is doing the three-way call for you to your prospect. So we're going to give Miss Megan Smith in this example a quick call. Ring, 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 ring. Hi, Miss Smith. Tiffany Graham here. All right. I have my prospect, Johnny Wright, on the other line, and he is eager and excited to speak with you. So let me connect you to the call. Hold on. All right. Let's get them connected into the three-way call. Miss Smith, are you there? Great. Johnny, are you there? Great. All right. I am so excited to connect you to on this call this evening. Johnny, I'd like to introduce you to my fabulous upline, Miss Megan Smith. Miss Megan Smith has been instrumental in helping me to grow my business. And she also has helped 10 families this year become financially free. So it is an honor that she has taken the time to speak with you today. And Miss Smith, Johnny Wright has seen our great plan that we have here for this company and he is so excited to hear more about this business and how he can get started with us so miss smith i like you to take the call away and you zip it you shut your mouth you let miss smith work her magic she's going to say what she needs to say and after she is done she will pass it back to you and you will close out the call by saying well, Miss Smith, thank you for your words of wisdom. I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to speak with Johnny. And I know that Johnny got some great information for you. So thank you so much for your time. And I will speak with you at a later date. And thank you so much, Johnny. Everyone have a great night. And that's it. 
you hang up, <clears throat> excuse me, and you close it out. And then after that, you give your prospect a call and you may answer any more questions that he may have. He may have some more follow-ups that he wants to speak with you that um, that Ms. Smith may have touched upon during the call. So you make sure that your prospect has all the information that they need. And that's it. Three-way call done. Simple. <coughs> Excuse me. I know I feel the need to cough all of a sudden. Um, but simple and easy, just like that. But you make sure that it's key to give the proper introductions. Make sure that when you get on the phone that your upline is re-edified. And then you just shut your mouth and you close out the call and you thank your upline for taking the time to do the call for you. So, simple, easy, just like that. So, go out there and utilize the power of the three-way call. This is Tiffany Graham. I'm headed for the top. I hope you're coming. See you soon.